Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jada and you just get a little bit of everything from my life. Um, if you're returning, welcome back. I'm so glad you came back. I'm so happy to have you here. As you guys know, or if you don't because you're new, the last Sunday of every month is my reset video. So um, conveniently, this Sunday is the 31st. So it's the very, very end of the month. Um, and so I said that just aligned a little too perfectly so I really wanted to be very intentional with this monthly reset and really map out my goals and really just take the time to think about something that's attainable um, but that I still have to work for and something that really means a lot to me. So I broke my goals down into personal, health and wellness, work and finance and we're gonna go over those. We are going to go over um, kind of my monthly budget we are going to go over June's goals and if I hit those goals and then books that I plan on reading for the month. So let's get right into it. I had five goals for June and I'm just gonna put them right over here so that you guys can see them. Um, and so first goal was closing 90% of my rings on my Apple Watch, which I'm not wearing right now. You can see my tan. Um, that did not happen. And I can be very honest and say that I have not gone to the gym since the last time you've probably seen my TikToks. If you haven't seen my TikToks, usernames down below. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened. I was on like this good momentum streak and I just didn't go one day and I stopped. So I really need to get back there. And not even just to the gym, but just working out. So we'll talk about that when we talk about um, August's goals. I'm saying June goals. We're in July. What is wrong with me? My second goal was to read two to three books so that I could get caught up with my bucket list goal, which is to read 12 books this year. And I read all three of my books and they were great for the most part. I didn't have any that I scored below a four stars, which was pretty great. Um, I was a little nervous about the last book that I read, but it was still pretty good. It was good. I'll give them that. If you want to know what books I read, make sure to follow me at Reads on Instagram. I post all of my books, my book reviews, and just connect with you guys on that bibliophile level. Shameless plug. Yes. Okay. My third goal was probably the most important, and it was to stay under budget, and I did not do that. We actually went over budget, and it's because we ate out so much like it's so easy because we run a lot of errands and we have to do things after mondo gets off of work and everything so we get home super late neither one of us wants to cook and we say hey mcdonald's is right down the street wendy's is right down the street let's just grab something quick it's hot it's good or let's you know get something from mariano's hot bar it's right there it's already ready let's do it and that is where most of our money went and we really talked about it and like seeing it in the budget laid out like that really brought to our eyes like we need to start eating at home more. my fourth goal was to reach 1000 subscribers on youtube and tiktok and even though i've been posting consistently i haven't quite made it there yet it is going to happen it just didn't happen this month and so i did not hit that goal but that's okay i'm not that upset about that one just because i know that i've been working consistently and putting out content that i just really like my fifth goal goes hand in hand with that and that was just to create content consistently and I have been doing that. I upload videos every Sunday which are cleaning and monthly reset videos and Wednesdays are just kind of like vlogs and everything that isn't a reset or a cleaning video. Um, so yeah, you see like my life, you see reviews, you see just lifestyle things, anything like that on Wednesdays. And TikTok, I post almost every day. Um, I'm obsessed, I'm that mom that's obsessed with TikTok, with, who hated it at first when it was like just starting out. But aside from that, I'm posting every day on my TikTok all the time. It's a lot of fun over there too. 
And so I can definitely say that I was posting consistently throughout July and even more so towards the latter end of July. Um, and it's just been really fun. I miss creating content and just hanging out with you guys on the World Wide Web. So let's get into the goals for August. This is my bullet journal that I started in January of this year. And I really want to get into bullet journaling and really make it a habit because I love you know, the aesthetic of them. I love the usage of them, everything. And I was tired of buying like six and seven planners that I was not using. So I really got into using this and I just did not use it for July because it was in my work bag that I have not used since I left work in the middle of June. And so I bought a new one to start fresh for the new school year. Um, it's not gonna be here in time for August 1st, but that's okay. So I wrote my august goals in here so it's just like a like a basic layout of my goals it's nothing fancy but in my august september reset i will be showing you guys the one in my new journal so don't worry i will be showing you this one now but i will be showing you the one that i really make in next month or at the end of this month in september's reset that's all I'm gonna say. Okay, so my personal goals for August are to spend one hour with God. So I have just really been slacking, and I can be honest about that, in building my relationship with God, and it's something that's really important to me, and so I need to dedicate that time to really spending time with Him and reading my Bible and just interpreting what I feel in my heart. And so that is a very, very personal goal of mine that I'm going to work really hard to attain. Um, the next one is to wake up at 5 a.m. So I need to get back into the swing of waking up early because work is starting soon, school is starting soon, and before you know it, I'm gonna be waking up the day of my job and feeling like death, okay? And I don't want that. And I wanna be able to wake up early and take advantage of the day because once Dito wakes up, like all of my attention is on him. Like I can even barely clean the house when he's awake. So um, being able to wake up at 5 a.m. is going to be super crucial. It'll help me spend that hour that I want with God. It'll help me get a lot of work done. It'll help me focus and just really prepare myself for the day. So I'm looking forward to that. The next goal is to read three books again. So with work starting up again in August, I don't want to push my goal past three books just yet until I know that I can handle the three that I'm reading with work, with content creating, with school going to be starting, and all that. So goal is still three books. And the last personal goal for August is to cross two things off of my bucket list. So if you have not seen my bucket list video, I'm going to tag it in the cards. Make sure to check that out. Um, it's super inspiring. I have to look back at it and see what I have left because I know I crossed a lot of things off, which is super awesome. Um, it really motivated me to get out of my comfort zone this year and to try new things. And I will definitely be carrying that into next year. It's crazy that I'm already thinking about next year, but yes. On to health and wellness. I want to start eating 70% of my meals at home and that should not be hard considering when I wake up the first thing I want to do is eat so I make a quick breakfast and we're usually home for lunch so it shouldn't be that hard and I say 70% because I feel like that's a good place to start with eating at home. My second health care and wellness goal is to do my skincare routine every day because I've been slacking on it and you can definitely tell in my skin and it's nobody's fault but my own so I just really need to get on top of that. So doing my skincare routine every day is really gonna help my skin be clean and pure and back to like just being healthy and glowy and nice how it should look. And finally, my last health and wellness goal is to work out three times a week. So instead of pushing myself and pushing myself and pushing myself to make sure that my rings are closed. I just need to make sure that I'm being active. So working out three times a week, 30 minutes at least, should be very attainable for me and it will be. I'm speaking it into existence. We're gonna do it. All right, so work. Work is content creating. Work is school. It's all of that. So first goal is to reach 300 subscribers on YouTube. And I dialed my goal back because trying to hit that 1000 is the ultimate goal, right? Like that's my ultimate goal. 
and I broke that down into little pieces. So for August, I want to hit 300 subscribers. So if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notification so that you never miss a video of all the wonderful. Um, next goal is to meet my new teaching team and set up rooms. I am moving with my kids to third grades and I never really talked to any of the third grade teachers and one of them is new. So I look forward to just really meeting with them, getting to know them, knowing their teaching styles and helping them set up their rooms. I'm really excited to get back to my kids. I miss them a lot. Um, and yeah, that's, that's a goal of mine to really just put myself out there and just introduce myself to them because I'm not a very extroverted person. Um, and my last goal for work is to post my blog post on time. If you didn't know, I have a blog and it's kind of like a little side income that I am trying to start because I'm really passionate about writing. I love reading and I thought I have a lot to offer people, especially when it comes to um, children and learning and motherhood. Seeing that I'm a mother, I was a daycare teacher and I have a degree in early childhood education. So if I can get my post out on time, I can make sure that um, I'm staying on top of it and making sure that I'm keeping myself accountable. So I made that a goal to stay accountable to myself. And finally, my financial goals. So I dedicated August to being a no spend month. And basically what that means is you don't spend any money outside of the necessities. So bills, utilities, you know, like your car no, your car payment, rent, and in this case, um, Dito's birthday, because his birthday is August 14th and we are planning his party. And so anything outside of the norm and then his party, I will not be spending money on. I won't be spending any extra frivolous money. And in turn, I hope that that helps with not eating out because eating out would count as spending extra money. And we don't want to do that. So August is going to be a no spend month for me. And I'll try and talk Mondo into it, but we'll see how that goes. Next. The next two are savings. So I wanna save $500 for both of these goals, but the difference is I wanna save $500 towards my emergency goal and $500 toward putting a down payment on a wedding venue because we really need to get the ball rolling. We're paying for everything by ourselves and it's not cheap, but we want the wedding that we want. So we're willing to put the work in, we're willing to put the money in, we just have to be able to save. And so being able to save a thousand dollars total would be amazing. I am looking forward to making sure that I hit those goals, especially because that would be huge for us to just have a nice cushion for an emergency fund, as well as starting of a down payment for a wedding. Okay, so this is the stack of books that I read. Um, I can't find my other Kiyoshi book but I read both of these books I swear to you look at my Instagram for proof um but I read The Rise of Kiyoshi and The Shadow of Kiyoshi I read Three Hours in Paris and I read Lore Olympus volumes one and two so I'm counting these as one just because they aren't long like I read both of these sitting in traffic while we drove to go get my baby um so I'm counting these as one so that helped me hit four books, if I'm counting this, these two as one, because I read both Kiyoshi books. And that for me is amazing because I've missed reading so much. I like just go into another world when I'm reading and I just love it so much. So these were great reviews on them all, except for the Lore Olympus ones, because obviously everyone knows that they're great. Um, but reviews for all three of these books will be on my bookstagram channel my bookstagram channel i am talking too much and too fast reviews for all of these books are going to be on my book instagram jada raquel reads and you can check those out you can you know buy them if you want to read them let me know what you think about them if you've read them already tell me i'm a huge atla fan so come at me with all your favorite avatar um moments in the comments down below okay Let's get on to what I want to read this month. Okay, so I bought all three of these books from Costco. I was just roaming around um, while Mondo and Dito were doing some shopping and I took a look at their book section and usually I only get books there for Dito, but I saw this one where the crawdads sing. And this has been like a huge like hit all over bookstagram and it's a major motion picture now and I refuse to see any movie before I read the books because I did that with Harry Potter 
and I regret it because I love I still love the movie so much but I'm falling in love with the books and so I want to read this before I even think about seeing the movie and really give my review of it because everyone seems to love it and I love standing out and being different so I'll let you know if I love it or not um I got this fire and blood it's based on or it's the inspiration for the house of dragons and it's like a part of the what am I thinking of what am I thinking of I can't think of what that show is called right now Game of Thrones haha <laughs> got it Game of Thrones and it's a hefty one and I love a challenge and so this will probably be the last one that I read um but I am looking forward to reading this one and especially because it's something that like Mondo and I could get into together because he's a huge Game of Thrones fan and I've seen like episodes here and there but enough to know what's going on and so this would be kind of cool to read and finally I got the bodyguard I saw somebody talk about this on bookstagram but it's not super popular but I love YA fiction um it's probably my favorite and yeah so these are my books for the month hopefully there's more if there are I'll have to check them out from the library because I won't be able to buy any more for August but these are my books for August <laughs> So if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already, share with your friends, and let me know what your August goals are down below. I look forward to hearing about your guys' goals and pushing you to be the best you. I also expect you to push me to be the best person that I can be, and I will see you guys on Wednesday for another video. Alright, bye!